It's entirely possible that I'm strawmanning the anti-natalists when I say that they seem to believe that life isn't worth living, that uh, life is nothing but an endless pile of weariness punctuated by blasts of agony that go back to weariness when uh, the agony is over. Um, again, I really shouldn't talk uh, about other people's ideas when one should probably allow them to put forward their own ideas as to what they believe uh, and their own explanations for that. Um, but I do agree in a edited version of that. I agree with uh, my great hero Socrates who said the unexamined life is not worth living. In other words, when you stop thinking, life ceases to be worth living. I don't really know what causes me to question absolutely everything, but it's just something that I do. Um, I'm never quite satisfied with whatever answers I come up with, and everything has to be examined. Probably there's an element of... Um, of uh, aping what Socrates did during his life. And what I get from that statement that the unexamined life is not worth living is that uh, once you stop questioning uh, everything around you, of course, um, life isn't worth living. And also, um, you kind of slip into the, dare I say this, the herd's way of thinking. It's funny how um, a crowd tends to form around any form of ism that's out there, any sort of orthodoxy, any sort of proper opinion on any subject that ever comes up, and eccentricity will be disciplined by swarming or ostracism. Um, I'm not really going to go so far as to say anyone is attempted to swarm me or ostracize me here on YouTube. I don't think that such things are really possible, I think, uh, given the fact that no one is ever being forced to watch anyone else's videos. Uh, but I do note the extreme hostility of some people's uh, reactions to what I'm putting forward. And I, I suppose that this is a rhetorical question, but I, I would like to ask these people what's behind all of that. What sort of sacred cow am I uh, defiling? Am I treading upon? What sort of um, emotionally held belief, strongly held belief, am I attacking that results in the big to hell with you or fuck you that I get you know from time to time the um, the abuse gets pretty thick on the ground and I again too bad for me if I open my mouth on YouTube people are going to flame me rather I there's nothing I can do about that and anybody can do that I can't stop anyone from standing in front of a webcam or sitting and um, calling me every name they feel like calling me. So, okay, uh, there's really no point in me getting upset about something I can't control. But what I would like to figure out is, what is behind that? What sort of orthodoxy am I violating? What's, what's the, uh, the, the uh, iconoclasm? What are the icons that I am clasming here? Um, there does seem to be some sort of accepted canon to a certain type of antinatalism. I call it morbid antinatalism. People tend to get upset um, in, a, in a sort of a subconscious and kind of belly level way about what I'm saying now or the questions I'm asking. I honestly have to say I'm mystified by it. Although, to be fair to my critics, I'm fascinated by it as well. And I can't be completely sure that my ego isn't involved here, that I, you know, I'm getting some sort of weird satisfaction uh, uh, at uh, uh, going against the grain and watching everyone get upset. Although I don't honestly see how I'm going against the grain of a philosophy that's, that's promoting human auto-extinction. Um, but it, regardless of what I understand or not, there is a powerful reaction, a very powerful reaction. And it was never my intention to provoke anybody or to make anybody angry. But, <laughs> imp that I am, I tend to get egged on by people um, who respond violently to me. It makes me more interested. 
Because, again, the unexamined life is not worth living. And if you're not looking into things, if you're not questioning everything around you, you start to atrophy. And I think that, again, I think that a certain type of antinatalism has sort of become almost Benatar worshipping, Benatarism. And I'm simply going against the orthodoxy that is sort of bizarrely formed around his ideas. Um, and this is the only way that I can actually uh, understand the venom that I've uh, provoked. Although I, I've provoked plenty of sympathetic uh, responses as well from people. Um, and I suppose... Um, that, of course, when, when, when you see something that's unexpected and you're um, fundamentally a curious person, you want to know why. Why would people get upset when one questions what could arguably be the most depressing philosophy out there? Um, I can understand how p people might think I'm out to lunch, but why get upset about me trying to debunk an idea that is even by its adherence seen, admittedly, as an unpleasant truth. It's still unpleasant. W one would assume that people would like to see that debunked? Just a thought. Thank you.